Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today, we're going to be discussing a bit of Harry Potter news. Specifically, news pertaining to the possibility of a new Harry Potter TV show. A few days ago, reports of this alleged show began flooding my news feeds across nearly every social media platform, and it's been sent to me countless times, so I thought I'd add my two cents. The headline, which originated on Bloomberg.com, reads, Warner Bros. Nears Deal for Harry Potter Online TV Series. The article then goes on to detail how and why this new Harry Potter series may happen. Warner Bros. Discovery Inc. is close to a deal for a new online TV series based on Harry Potter, the best-selling young adult books, according to two people with knowledge of the matter. Each season of the series will be based on one of J.K. Rowling's seven books, said the people, who asked not to be identified since the deal hasn't been announced suggesting years of fresh fare from the popular stories. The company is hoping this series can be one cornerstone of a new streaming strategy that will be announced next week by HBO's parent Warner Bros. That company's chief executive officer, David Zaslav, and HBO chief Casey Bloys have worked to convince Rowling to produce a new series, but the deal hasn't been completed. To some who may not follow Harry Potter news as closely as I do, this certainly sounds exciting. However, I for one am not going to fall victim to another faux Harry Potter reboot announcement. For years I've seen articles like this one and it's getting a lot more difficult to take them seriously, mainly because nothing ever seems to actually happen. There's always a lot of awaiting confirmation cited in these articles, which is often another way of saying we hope this happens but we have very little proof. In the past six months alone, I've seen a huge influx in these announcements likely due to the fact that Hogwarts Legacy has made Harry Potter topical again. It was only a few months ago that a new Cursed Child movie appeared to be the next big thing on the horizon, something I was extremely skeptical of. But while the success of Hogwarts Legacy may have paved the way for an internet-wide trend of false promises, its success may have also paved a more legitimate path forward. This is the first time in years that Harry Potter has been trending on such a large scale, something we owe to the game and so it would make sense that Warner Bros. would be looking to capitalize on this popularity. Prior to the release of the game, the Wizarding World was starting to feel less and less inspired, with each subsequent Harry Potter prequel failing harder than the last, at least from a box office perspective. I like the Fantastic Beasts films, but they certainly weren't Harry Potter, and their box office failures probably didn't motivate Warner Bros. very much to start creating even more Harry Potter content. The bad news, this article could just be another false promise. The good news, Harry Potter is back in a big way. I don't think that's arguable, and I don't see how or why Warner Bros could possibly fail to capitalize on the revitalization of one of their biggest pieces of IP. And that's it for this video. What do you think? If you enjoy the content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live.